Hello, hello, hello. What's happening today, eh? Well, it's late in the evening. I was sitting in there watching TV. Watching TV, eh? That's right, watching TV. I certainly was. And I was watching the old TV show, The Brady Bunch. The episode where they go camping. I was watching that. Sitting there relaxing and I thought, you know what? If I want to feel a lot better and really feel good, let me throw on a hat and go outside and take a little bit of a walk. Take these dogs out, give them a wee bit of exercise, give myself some exercise, because I'll feel a whole lot better if I get out and walk around a little bit. But anyway, needless to say, I've been having lots of aches and pains and all kinds of fun stuff going on. And I'm like, man, what is the matter? What is going on here? And I noticed a lot of times when I'm sleeping, I ain't breathing right. I'm not getting the air and oxygen that I should be getting. And I found a video and watched it on, I think it's, oh, I don't know, at least eight or something like that, things that are signs of low oxygen in your blood. And I listened to that, and by golly, it tagged it every time for me. Every time it was tagged. So I was like, wow, okay, that's important. So I forwarded that off to all the family members, and hopefully they'll watch it and say, hmm, we got to cut down on our sugars and carbs. Now we know why we're so tired and fatigued all the time. We got these aches and pains, eh? That's right. <clears throat> so, yep, that is exactly what I did. So hopefully they'll take note. And I see a lot of things that cause you problems. So now I'm trying to find me some vitamin B12 in the bulk and so I can have it a nice supply of vitamin B12, eh? But I might end up buying a bottle of tablets. Who knows? I got a little bit of B12. I don't take it a lot, but it sounds to me like maybe I should take it more than I do. So anyways, as you say in the world uh, of today, what else have you been into? Oh, what else have I been into, eh? You're asking me that question, are you? No, I don't want to ask you that question. I want you to sign off. Oh, okay, let's sign off. It's only been two minutes, you know. <laughs> oh, sign off. Are you trying to listen to yourself talk, are you? <laughs> Maybe. I was watching Patrick Lancaster last night, and he's... Uh, He's got some great info there on YouTube. Put his latest video up last night and watched it. And wow, well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm like, uh, hmm, interesting. Trying to, uh, you know, see what's actually really happening in the world and what's going on behind the scenes as to what we're. Uh... Oh, look, he's taking a Pulowski. Oh, his Pulowski's done. <laughs> Um, behind the scenes of what's going on there that you don't see or anything and people that you'll never see interviewed on they call it from where he's at the Western media but anyway it's got some great information there that you can uh, just put in your your old pipe and uh, ponder on it or whatever you want to do kind of give you a little broader prospect of what's actually happening maybe huh so oh no it's all bull crap I say well it could be who knows I don't know I'm just here taking her easy trying to enjoy myself spend my life save a buck or two for the bills everything keeps going up keeps going up I had another musket I ordered but they told me I was going to have to reorder it because somehow it got missed and so they didn't send it that'd be the, like it's looking like the third one that they just like ignore the order or something but anyway, it went up in price. So I was like, yeah, not very much. But right now, things are getting tighter and tighter. Things are tightening up on me. I'm starting to feel it. That's for sure. Getting tighter. Your insurance bills going up, your house, cars, everything. I mean, my pay never. If we didn't, if we didn't, uh, if we didn't uh, sit around the house and not do anything except watch TV and add to the electric bill. I mean, if we tried to go anywhere or do anything, well, I, ain't, I can't afford to do much of anything. That's for sure. So what do you do? Well, you better learn how to entertain yourself. Entertain yourself, matey. Entertain yourself. How are you going to do that? Well, how about I uh, start talking to myself on the cell phone and then put it up on YouTube, huh? <laughs> And then I can watch myself later and say, Oh, Edward, what a clown you are. 
Hey, I could do that, right? Oh, I look around. I didn't see much of anything. But I needed a walk, and it's cool and crispy out here. It's not very warm. But the house is toasty. My house heats up in the daytime. The sun turns into a nice little uh, oven. That's what it does at night. And it's insulated in the ceiling, and then all the heat comes down into the house all night long and makes the house hotter and hotter. So it turns into a big old hot sauna in there in the evenings. So the insulation's great, it's supposed to hold heat in, but I don't know how the heat comes down. I think the cold air is heavy and it. Cold air pushes down and it starts to push the hot air out of the attic down through the ceiling and then through the insulation and everything else. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, everybody's in that boat. There's a lot of stuff we'd like to do, but we can't do it. Why can't you do it, Ed? Why can't you do it? Well, it's too expensive. I can't afford it, you know. I put my money other places. Well, when you charge something and then you got to pay it, what are you going to do for the whole month? Just you spent your money already. I hate spending my money in advance on a charge and then turn around and can't do nothing because I'm broke. You're broke, I tell you, you're broke. You got no money. That's right, unless you can find a little job on the side doing something, if you got the energy for that. But when your back's out and... Your legs out and your knees is aching, your elbows is aching. Feel like somebody tried to draw and quarter you, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you're not gonna want to get out and do a whole lot. That's for sure. It's like, oh, I get all rambunctious. I'm like the old dog. He's, he'd be, he's 15. He'll act like a young pup. Look at him trotting up through there right now. I give him yeast tablets and multivitamins, same ones I take. He was down for a while in the hip, but then he came back. <clears throat> and he can get rambunctious and act like he's only two years old. I can do that to you, but I have to pay the price, I say. The price is I'll be all crippled up and can't walk hardly. My back's out, my hip's out. The funny thing about my right hip causing me lots of pain and suffering for a long time is it is just like a study toothache. And then what happened? It switched to the left hip, like flipping a switch. Left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. It's like, what the heck? So, I don't know, it's crazy. Yep, crazy. But I try to stay away from all painkillers and all that kind of stuff, because it's not good for you. I sit and see all the well, any time the satellite TV's on, all you see is drug commercials. You know, this'll kill you, but you'll be able to sleep good. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're gonna go crazy and jump off a cliff. Take this. Take this, your, your hair's getting gray. We wanna change your hair back to black, its original color. Take these pills, and then we'll change them back to black. But meanwhile, you want to jump off a cliff somewhere. Yeah. Take that, why don't you? I hope a lot of people ain't falling for this pharmaceutical bull crap they're pushing. But, you know, you say, how can they do that? How can they push garbage like that? But they know, food and everything else, they know that this stuff is poisonous. It's like, we make the best chips in the world. And you're like, hey, let me try those. And you eat them. Oh man, oh, dang, this is good potato chips. That is absolutely delicious. I can eat a whole bag of those. Well, we only recommend to cheat one. Well, it's that. Well, because it's carcinogenic, it's full of cancer. You eat a couple bags of those and you might be in a heck of a mess. Who knows? Depends on your immune system, eh? Huh, well, why are you putting them carcinogens in them chips? Well, you know, we know the carcinogens are deadly poison. We only put them in there in case people People want to uh, do themselves in. Yes, yes, they want to do themselves in. Well, why would you do that? Why would you want to give somebody something that's harmful? Well, we don't make that decision, they do. They make the decision. They decide if they want to take harmful products. They want to eat that stuff and it kills them. That's their business, not yours. I'm like, well, okay. Never thought of it that way, huh? Because see, I would never feed any of my children anything that I knew wasn't good for them. And I certainly wouldn't put nothing in it that wasn't good for them. I always 
was on the side of, I guess, good. Looking up at the great and powerful Lord in heaven, Jehovah God, knowing that we did everything we could that was good for ourselves and our fellow human beings and even our animals. But there's people who don't think that way, obviously. They only think about whatever they think about. And I don't know why they're thinking that way, but that's what they do. So you gotta wake up. Wake up, I say! Yeah. Wake up. Are you awake? Oh, man, I'm telling you. But uh, nothing you can do. And maybe there is something you can do. They tell me, get on a school board, get into politics. That's what you need to do. Get involved. Well, you can do that if you got the energy and the strength for it and the, uh, the ability to bump out some of these people who don't look up and be thankful for everything, their life, their blessings, all that is great and wonderful in the universe. Here's the ink pen laying out here. These kids, <clears throat> they just do whatever. Hmm. That's what they do. I don't know if it's a good pen or a bad pen, but I'm not too sure. Eh. If it writes, it'll be a good pen. If it don't write, it'll be a bad one, right? <laughs> oh, Pee Pee, did you see something in the tree, did ya? That old tree, I gotta trim that baby. Cut it back down to size. Here, Pee Pee, tree this pen. She tree an ink pen, huh? <laughs> Put it up here. Pee Pee, where's the pen? That's silly. Somebody up the road's firing off their big guns. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I don't know what's going on around here, so I didn't go out and do it. But and it's kind of chilly out tonight. Once the old sun drops, it gets cool. Very cool. Yes, uh, wish I was farther from the highway. All them cars going up and down through there. So what's going on, Mo? Well, uh, not too much, huh? Not too much, huh? I'm thinking about making myself another comedy film where I speed myself up. If I can come up with some good one-liners. You can get some one-liners. You can get some one-liners. Ah. Oh, yeah. Try to have some fun. And amongst all the other crazy stuff. But, yes. Yes. Why don't you bring a flintlock out, Edward? Well... We looked at flintlocks in the last video, played around a little bit, but that's just what we're doing, goofing off. Oh, well, Pee Pee, she's hot and high, determined to get herself a rabbit. But uh, I don't know if there's any rabbits around here. I was going to make a funny video and title it Hunting Boar, Coyotes, and Rattlesnakes. And I'd take off and run around out here. Of course, you know, my odds of finding a boar is slim and none. I haven't seen any around here. I've heard they got uh, some up on the Canadian border, up in Michigan somewhere, but I haven't seen anything like that around here. I have in my lifetime seen a couple or three rattlesnakes around. I guess they call them timber rattlers. I ran across the, about three of them in my lifetime. Uh, coyotes, oh well, I don't know, I ain't heard too much out of them, but here for a while there was a whole pack of them. They was running around going, all kinds of stuff squealing and hollering and squalling at night and scaring you. They'd sneak up behind you and, and you jump out of your skin, yeah. It was crazy. Crazy. Yes, uh, well, that's for sure. Got a bunch of old dead flowers in the front yard now that need pulled. I got on sandals and my toes is freezing off, I tell you. Freezing off toes, yeah. Gonna have to go in the house. Hey, your dog's ready to go in, are you? <laughs> yes, let's go in. I got lots of yard work to do. I'm gonna have a, a pile of yard brush. I'm thinking about taking this here. Um, I find this interesting, but meh, maybe nobody else will. But I'm gonna state it anyway. I'm taking this here lilac bush, which is getting really old and more lilac tree-like, and cutting it down to about waist high, all the way across, and trimming it up. The other day, did a little bit of mowing. Had one of the girls, she's a mower in the yard, and she catches a gas cap on a limb, spins it off of a mower, brand new mower, flips off on the ground, mows over top of it. So I had to order another one. That cost me 20 big dollars. So we got a gas cap on there now. 
and uh, it's not very tight like I think it should be. So if the old one was like that, it ain't no wonder it spun off there and flew out and got ran over, eh? But anyway, oh, back to the story on that there brush. I was going to take that and pile it all up, maybe stick some straight in the ground, make it kind of bushy, and then take and put some uh, uh, corn or whatever down in there for the birds and everything to eat for this winter, right? Um, and it, what I was thinking maybe is maybe some of them pesky deer might decide that they'd like to have a little bit of corn too, and it'd be a nice buck. And they take and try to get to that corner. When they get to that corn, they'll have to push their head down into that brush. And as they do, I'm hoping that they got a nice big set of antlers on the head. It'll push them off. And I could collect some sheds back here. Because I did find one one day back here. There was a big buck. He always, always hanging around the bank back here. They were eating some kind of grass off of the bank. And I don't know what it was, but he was a nice buck. And I seen him back here in the backyard hanging around and eating and stuff and I was just hoping he wasn't going to jump in the swimming pool. That's what I was hoping. Oh, that wouldn't be good. So anyway, he sat out there and eating. That's kind of a hump down there where we had the extra pool uh, stuff, uh, dirt from the pool. So if you look down through, if you can see if I got it right, it's a big old hump. Well, apparently he was eating weeds out of that hump and he must have pressed into the bank and he dropped this baby off. It's a big old, what is it, a three points. That's a dandy, ain't it? I got it hanging it up here in the ceiling on the back porch. Oh, goodness, yes. But, sadly for me, I only got the one. I couldn't find a matching horn to it. I think about using that for some kind of crafting, but I didn't know what it is. But those are some long, long uh, points on that thing. Ooh, man, I mean, sheesh. Looks like a big old super long chicken spud, don't it? <laughs> big old chicken spud. Them chickens, you see those spurs? They can grow some woohoo dandies. You don't want to get whacked on the leg by one of them. Man, that's painful, huh? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, mate. I never did pick the apples. I decided to not pick them. We had all kinds of apples from the orchard. And I left them go. I don't even know if they're still good. They've been frosted pretty hard. So I would think that they wouldn't be good. But they're still sticking on the tree for some reason. And I don't know why. I would have thought they would have fell off. There's some laying here on the ground, I noticed. So maybe they'll drop. And hopefully the deers will enjoy some apples. I ate some of them. And they were very sweet and tasty. They weren't bad. So, what's using that bush, PP? She likes the bushes. Little birds get in there and stuff. We protect some wildlife around here, we do. Rabbits, maybe. Who knows, huh? All right, well, I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to need something to warm up my toes, huh? I don't know what the temperature is out here, but it's darn right chilly. <clears throat> but any, anyway, there's some of the stuff, some of the little things that I've been looking into. Uh, yes. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's so nice to come in here. It's nice and warm. Oh, you, I don't believe you was really watching the Brady Bunch now. You don't? Well, listen. Must have been made before 1950. There you go. Yes, he was watching the Brady Bunch. Hey, Pippi wants in. Come on, Pippi. Come on. All right, now we can get the old dog in, we'll be good. Well, I guess I'm gonna sign off. I thought I'd do a video while I was walking, do a little talking and all that good stuff. I'll be coming up with some other stuff goofing around. Maybe someday somebody will watch all this fun stuff and say, oh man, that guy was a character, was he not? Yeah, he was. But anyway, anyhow. Hey, how you like me hat? Huh? I like it. I used to wear it a lot. A whole lot. It's me camouflage. Yes, sir. I'm all camouflaged. But anyway, PP, she just went out and drank a bunch of water. You know what that means? She's going to want in and out and out and in. In and out and out and in. She'll be wanting in and out continuously. Trying to drive me crazy. 
But uh, hey, we carved a pumpkin the other day. That was fun. Did that with the granddaughter. And uh, she had a blast with that. Had her draw the face on a piece of paper and then uh, trace it on the pumpkin and then we cut it out. So nobody got injured or anything. So that was good. I'm always nervous about cutting around the kids and stuff like that. But it all went good. And I took the seeds and distributed them around here and there. So maybe I'll have some pumpkins growing next year in places unexpected. And then I'll remember, oh my gosh, come on, doggy. I'll remember, come on, buddy. Come on. Then I'll remember, oh, you throw them pumpkin seeds out there for where you and your girl, your, your uh, granddaughter there uh, carved them pumpkins. Ah, ha, ha. So you'll have seeds that'll grow. And pumpkins will be coming out from underneath the wife's swimming pool deck because I throw a bunch of them under there and she won't be happy. These pumpkins under my deck. I'm going to kill somebody. I'm going to kill them. That's what will be happening there. Yep. Oh, turned on the lights, huh? Now you can see, yeah? Yes, I can see. I don't want to see. Oh, my God. That's worse than looking in the mirror. <laughs> All right. Well, adios, everybody. Have a great day.